everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina Kent and I'm an oil painter based out of San Francisco. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of my bad art habits and that is overanalyzing. So maybe you've been there when you're trying to figure out what to paint or what to draw or what to make and you are kind of going through all these ideas, there are all these ideas in your head and you are trying to figure out which idea is the best one. Because maybe you don't have much time to create and so you really want to use your time wisely and you can't make every single idea that comes into your head. So you spend this time thinking about should I paint with oils or acrylics? Should I do a painting or do a collage? And then if I decide on a painting, should I paint a still life or should I paint a portrait? And which portrait should I paint? You can. You can spend so much time thinking about all of the ideas that you have and trying to figure out which one's the best one, um, but it takes up so much time that you actually don't get to the process of creating. And personally, I do this all the time. I think it's like I keep my art process relatively simple actually because I mostly just focus on oil painting so I don't have to worry about trying to figure out which medium am I going to use and I generally paint on the same surfaces too so I know I'm going to be painting on rectangular panel if it's small or a canvas if it's large but I keep things relatively simple in that way however when it comes to figuring out what to paint when it comes to choosing my subject matter sometimes I can get really stuck for me, I usually paint from photos and I have this whole album on my phone where I've just throughout the day will take photos of things that inspire me or excite me and I'll go through those photos and I'll be looking at them thinking, oh, maybe I should paint this one. Oh no, this one will be better. Oh no, this one will be better. And I, I get really, I guess, um, I get really stuck with kind of, they call it, I guess, the paradox of choice. Um, there's so many options, so many things for me to paint that I, I kind of don't know where to start. And this is really dangerous for the perfectionist in me because the perfectionist in me wants to pick the best idea and wants to make the best painting. And the perfectionist in me just says, okay, well, if we, if we just analyze all of the ideas that we have and we look at all their traits and we really think about it for a long time, then we can find the best idea and then we can pick that one and, and move forward. And I do think it's important to put some thought into what we end up painting. I think, you know, we want to paint things that inspire us, that make us happy. Um, but, but at the same time, we, we want to be careful about overanalyzing and getting to the point where we're just thinking, thinking, thinking and trying to compare ideas on this like analytical level, but we don't actually move on to the painting process we can very easily get stuck in this place where we're just paralyzed by all of the choices that we have. So I used to face this a lot. It came up a lot in my art practice and I would end up kind of procrastinating by trying to decide between these ideas and I wouldn't actually get to the painting process and my productivity suffered and also because I was painting less, my, I felt like my development as an artist began to slow. And I kind of got so fed up with how this whole process was going and with my indecision that I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna pick an idea at random and go for it. And what I found was that when I move past this overanalyzing, when I just take an idea and run with it, I often come out with a really good painting in the end. Because what I've come to realize, I think at least for me in my process, it's actually less about what I paint and more about, about that I am painting. It's more about getting myself to start the process of painting. Because what I find as I develop more and more as an artist is that I think almost any subject can be painted in such a way that it creates a great work of art. And I think what really helped me with this process was when I was doing 50 paintings in 50 days because I really didn't have time to think too much about each individual idea. I had to do so many paintings in such a short time that I had to kind of take whatever idea I had and just run with it. There just simply wasn't time to overanalyze anything. And when I let go of all this analysis of my ideas, I felt really free to just enjoy the painting process and to really create some beautiful paintings. And also what I learned was that often I wasn't the best gauge or I couldn't always predict in advance which ideas would end up making the most beautiful paintings. I noticed that some ideas that I wasn't so inspired about initially ended up becoming beautiful paintings, while other ideas that I thought were really great didn't work out so well. And this made me realize that all of my overanalyzing that I've been doing in the past maybe wasn't actually that useful. I think when it comes to making art, there's only so much that we can figure out rationally. And there's a lot that we kind of need to just figure out 
through working through the painting. And I think with overthinking, one of the reasons why I would often do it is because I, I would tell myself, well, if I think enough about this, if I really think hard and pick the right idea in advance, then I can guarantee that I have a good painting. And from doing the 50 paintings in 50 days, I realized that that's just not the case. But this thinking process kind of gives me a sense of security. It would help reduce my fear that the painting wouldn't turn out right, even though it wasn't always true. Now I've come to see my overthinking as a form of procrastination that's kind of driven by my, my fear of making a bad painting. So what do I do to stop this overthinking? One thing that I think is really helpful is to give yourself a time limit and say, you know, I'm gonna spend maybe 15 minutes trying to pick an idea, and at the end of that time, I'm gonna take whatever idea I have and make something out of that. So that kind of pushes us towards taking action sooner rather than later. And it still gives us time to think about what we wanna make, but it doesn't give us so much time to where we can really overthink things. Another thing that I like to do when I find myself overthinking things is I like to remind myself that I might not know which idea is going to be the best idea. And so I can just follow which idea is most exciting me in the moment and trust that really it's more about the painting process and I'm going to learn so much through the act of painting. Because in the end, I think we really only know if an idea is going to make a good or bad work of art after we make the work of art. I think the truth is there are some things that happen during the painting process that we don't really understand, or at least I don't, and we can't really explain. But I really think the best way to get better at painting is to be painting often and to get the brush miles in. And to do that, we can't overthink every single piece. And on that note, I think the same goes for when we're finishing a painting too. Sometimes we delay finishing a painting because we think we keep needing to add one more thing and we end up overworking the painting and um, taking away some of the magic that, that it originally had. So I think it's really important to guard against overthinking both at the start and at the end of the painting process. I think we learn the most when we take action, when we do the painting. We don't really learn while we're sitting and thinking about what the painting could be. We learn when we're actually making it. Because there's something beautiful and magical that happens in the painting process that we can't really predict in advance. And I think that's one of the coolest things about painting. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you have issues with overthinking in your creative process too. And if you do struggle with overthinking in the creative process, I hope some of the things that I talked about today can help you out. You can set a time limit on your planning to make sure that you don't get stuck in the planning stage. You can also remind yourself that sometimes you don't know which idea is the best idea, and that's okay. And it's fine if you move forward with an idea that's not perfect. You might just be pleasantly surprised with the outcome. That's all for today. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and if you have any tips on how you prevent overthinking in your creative process. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. If you like my art, if you like my videos and you wanna help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.